Hello everyone, welcome again and today we are going to discuss on uh, Java abstraction. So, as you know, like Java is an object oriented programming and uh, abstraction is one of the most important concept of uh, OOPS. So how to achieve that abstraction in Java? Like, actually, what is the abstraction first of thing? First of all, so abstraction is like hiding the uh, something, some essential part of the application and uh, you want to show some functionality only to user which is mostly important for user it's like uh, you can say it's uh, you, you can take an example of like atm machine so in, in atm machine when you <coughs> check uh, that when you insert card and in, you just can see the only interface of that particular application you can't see the processing behind the machine so similar kind of concept is like abstraction here so Java basically providing uh, abstraction uh, in a two way. Like first is uh, abstract classes are there in Java. So by using these classes, we can achieve abstraction in Java. And the other thing is uh, interface. So interface is 100% uh, abstraction until one, before 1.8. So now Java is updated and they're using 1.8 JDK and more than this 1.9 also there. So before 1.8 Java interface is a purely abstraction, <coughs> abstract. So you can see here, you can read that complete blog. I will show you the practical example about and on the abstraction also, but you can, if you want, you can read the complete blog. I will provide the complete post. I will provide the link below the video and uh, check it once. <coughs> Some important concept like what is abstract class in Java. So simply a class with an abstract keyword is called an abstract class. So for defining abstract class, I have to just use that abstract keyword with class. It's an abstract class. So if we take an example, how to defining a abstract class? So it's my old example. I'm, I'm gonna remove this. So uh, now now I have to define an abstract class. So abstract class. Uh, Name you can say anything like that. Yeah, this is the syntax of abstract class. And uh, next thing is what is the abstract method? So abstract method, which is define only the um, definition of that method. You don't need to implement any method. The abstract method. So here you can see the syntax with abstract keyword and return type of the method. Like the return type will be void and the method name. So method name name will be unknown. So you just need to define the signature of method and when you are going to use this class uh, then you have to implement that method and uh, you have to uh, implement that method at a runtime like I have to when I'm going to use this method what how can I use this like I have to extend it first of all extend the math maths and uh, compiler will give me an error because we have to implement all the methods which are which are uh, uh, of all the abstract methods which are in uh, abstract class. So you can see here, so give me a suggestion and an unimplemented method. When I implement, I click on this method is implemented. So now I'm going to print a message in this method. And the message is hello abstraction. Right. Now I'm going to call this method. So before this, I have to create an object of the class my name equals to new man. Um, M.M1. So this time I'm going to run it and show you the output. You can see the output here, and uh, by this, this is the example of uh, you know, abstraction. Like uh, I need one more method here, so it must be important for me. I have to import. The, I have to implement that uh, these 
both methods like i'm defining one more method here m2 so again compiler gives me an error like you have to implement that method also so i not need to write any statement here but i have to just implement this i have to write uh, open braces and close braces now program will work fine in abstraction, we says abstraction provide abstraction classes provide us uh, abstraction zero to hundred percent because we can use normal classes also normal methods also like I can use a method here which m theory which is not abstract method but simply method and if I want to print a message here in this class so I can print m three Now I'm going to call this method and this object m dot m dot m3. Simply check the output. You see the m3. So now you understand what is abstraction, why we use abstraction, what is abstract class, and what is abstract method, and how we do that practically. Right? You can see the example here also and uh, implement on your own. So some important point I want to discuss about the uh, abstraction. If you are define any method as an abstract, then class must be abstract. Like if you are defining any method as abstract, so class must be abstract. So there is a two method abstract. Abstract methods are there. So if I remove the class keyword as an abstract class, so it will give me an error. So class should be abstract class. Next thing is if you are extending an abstract class, so you need to import all the methods of that class. We see we already seen that uh, example. We have to implement all that abstract method when we are going to extend this math class. Right. Next point is in Java you cannot create instance of an abstract class. If you want to create, if you try to create an instance of that class, like I'm going to create an object of that math class, it will give me an error. Maths OBJ equals to new maths. So it will give me an error. So I can't do that. Next point is use abstraction if you know something need to be in class, but the implementation that varies. That vary. Like when uh, the main point of behind that point is that like uh, when uh, you should use that abstraction. So when you need to, you don't know the what is the exact requirement, what is the exact statement inside the method. So you can define that abstract class and some methods. At the time of using this method, we can insert that uh, statement. So it's depend on the requirements. Abstract is a keyword. So remember one thing: abstract is a just a keyword. It's a not a type, data type, written type, anything. It's a just a keyword. So now we will discuss some interview questions, which maybe you will find in your interview room. So can we define constructor as an abstract class? Is an can we define constructor as constructor in an abstract class? So yes, we can define an abstract class can have a constructor, but it cannot be instantiated. If you don't, if you do not define your own constructor, compiler will give you. It's mean like uh, we can define that constructor of an uh, abstract class, but if you are not going to define any constructor, compiler will automatically define a constructor for you. So why we use a constructor in abstract class in Java? constructor is used to like there is no requirement because we are not going to instantiate we are not going to create an object of that abstract class so why we need that uh, constructor in abstract class so sometimes we need uh, we have to we have variables we can define the variables also in abstract class so sometimes we need to use the super class uh, variables so we need that uh, uh, constructor like in this example you can see there is a main class constructor and uh, the class main extent user and main class has a constructor with two parameter like before this understand this abstract class 
try to understand abstract class is a user class and uh, here is a constructor right this constructor with two parameters string name and integer age so i am just defining two two parameter here and uh, when i extend this uh, class here abstract class in main i am defining i am defining one more uh, variable here and now i am going to use three variable here education name and integer so name and age is comes from my super class my super class is user which is the abstract class and the third one is education so for using the uh, uh, why we use that particular constructor in uh, abstract class so for using the variable of super class you can say for instance for initialize the variable of uh, the super class we need to use this uh, next thing can we define an abstract class as a final class so uh, there is no option for that because the final class we can uh, final means in java final means we can, we, you can't change once you define you can't change anything in. and uh, as abstraction says like uh, you have to uh, you can change it according to the, your requirement so it's opposite to each other so it's not pos uh, it's not uh, possible it is is it necessary for an abstract class to have an abstract method no it's not necessary i can define the, a method without any method a class a abstract class without any method like this code will be fine no problem right there's no need to define any method but it's not make any sense difference between abstract class and interface we will discuss in upcoming tutorials what is the interface and how can we achieve that interface in java but there is a only you need to remember one thing in abstraction in an interface we can achieve 100 percent abstraction means we cannot define concrete methods like we cannot implement uh, methods in an interface so abstraction gives a uh, abstract class give you 0 to 100 percent abstraction and interface uh, and interface gives you 100 percent abstraction so can we define the next question is can we define the main class as an abstract class yes we can define the main class as an abstract class this compiler will not give any error so can we declare abstract method as a private so no because we are going to change it we are going to extend it uh, simply we cannot extend any private uh, any private method so compiler will give an error so you can read the complete uh, complete theories or practical or you can copy this program and use and learn so by uh, uh, by this codewind.com i will provide the link in the description box you can easily visit if you like please subscribe the channel for more view more updates for more project on java angular js and different different programming things and um, thank you